Why do people hate vegetarians, vegans so much? Most people don't. They just get really annoyed by the loud ones. Especially if they try pushing their lifestyle on others. People hate the self-righteous, obnoxious ones. Relevant previous comment. Why people perceive vegans as annoying is a very interesting psychological question. One reason may be that reminders of veganism cause cognitive dissonance and unpleasant psychological state arising from inconsistencies in one's behaviors and beliefs. Backslash. 1. HTTPS. Dictionary.apa.org slash cognitive dissonance. In meat eaters. This occurs in the form of the meat paradox, whereby people generally like non-human animals. NHAs. And wish no harm to them but nonetheless harm and exploit animals through consumption. Backslash. 2. HTTPS. doi.org slash 10.11772F0963721414552. One study asked a sample of undergraduate meat eaters to freely list their thoughts associated with vegetarians, despite, or presumably due to, seeing vegetarians as more moral than meat eaters. Participants readily brought negative terms to mind, e.g., uptight, preachy. More importantly, the more morally superior participants believed vegetarians to consider themselves the more negative were the descriptions of vegetarians by meat eaters. In a follow-up experiment, undergraduate meat eaters indicated how they feel vegetarians view them personally, either before or after rating vegetarians along a series of dimensions. As expected, vegetarians were rated more negatively after. VS. Before. Thinking about how vegetarians view the participants. A meat eater. Thus making salient that, do-gooder, vegetarians would supposedly look down on meat-eaters for being less. Moral caused meat-eaters to be more negative in their evaluations of vegetarians. The researchers suggest that thinking about vegetarians poses a threat to one's sense of personal morality, including a backlash against vegetarians. Backslash. 3. HTTPS doi.org slash 10.11772f1948550611414 backslash 4 https www.routledge.com slash why we love and exploit animals bridging insights from academia and advocacy slash don thodson slash p slash Book, 9780815396659. This is supported by another study, which found that meat-eaters express more negative attitudes towards veg ns who made the choice for animal rights reasons as opposed to health or environmental reasons. Backslash. 5. HTTPS doi.org slash 10.11772f1368430215618 Beyond inducing psychological stress arising from moral conflict, there is evidence that meat-eaters may perceive vegans as a threat to their way of life. Another study conducted analysis to further determine whether a general pro-beef attitude indicated by a stronger desire for and higher consumption and liking of beef predicts general anti-vegetarian prejudice indicated by feeling more bothered by lesser admiration of and lesser willingness to date vegetarians their analysis revealed a very strong pattern the more a person is pro-beef the more negative their anti-vegetarian prejudice although statistically significant in all countries the percentage of variance in anti-vegetarian prejudice explained by pro-beef orientations differed by country. Particularly remarkable is the finding that 43% of variance in American anti-vegetarian 
Attitudes was explained by personal pro-beef attitudes. Thus, meat eaters who enjoy beef do not simply dislike vegetarians as a group. But the strength of their dislike is systemically and strongly linked to the degree that they personally enjoy beef. Such patterns are very consistent with the notion that meat eaters push back against non-meat eaters. In light of the threat that such individuals pose to the meat eater personally, and presumably morally, backslash 6 https doi.org slash 10.1016 slash j.paid.2017.06.034 backslash 4 https www.routledge.com slash why we love and exploit animals bridging insights from academia and advocacy slash don thodson slash p slash Book, 9780815396659. This was illustrated by celebrity chef Anthony Bourdain, who declared that, even more despised, dot are the vegetarians. Serious cooks regard these members of the dining public, and their Hezbollah-like splinter faction, the vegans, as enemies of everything that's good and decent in the human spirit. To live life without veal or chicken stock, fish cheeks, sausages, cheese, or organ meats is treasonous. Backslash 7. HTTPS. WWW. New Yorker. Com. Magazine, the 19th of April 1999. Don't eat before reading this. Bourdain's concern is quite clear. He perceives veg ns as a threat to his way of life and to his preferred societal norms by bringing NHAs into our realm of moral concern. Veg ns are threatening the status quo that presents the exploitation and harm of NHAs for pleasure. As normal and acceptable, we have now explored how veg ns may cause psychological stress and threats to identity and way of life to meat eaters. This may explain a common declaration from meat eaters, which is some form of, I have no problems with vegans as long as they're not bothering others about it. You eat what you want and I'll eat what I want. Such an argument is problematic for a few reasons. It frames veganism as a personal dietary choice. In fact, veganism is neither personal nor strictly dietary. By suggesting our diets are personal choices, it denies the victimhood of the billions of NHAs who suffer as a direct result of that personal choice every year. NHAs, who, of course, have no say in the matter of their suffering and murder. In this sense, our diets are no more a personal choice than the choice to directly engage in any form of oppression or exploitation. The argument also frames veganism as a dietary choice, which it is not. Veganism is a philosophy extending moral concern to NHAs. Backslash 8. HTTPS. www.vegansociety.com slash govigan slash definition veganism. The dietary aspect is just a result of the application of that philosophy to our food choices. The implication from the argument is that a good vegan is one who remains silent on the oppression of NHAs. By doing so, the argument attempts to present itself as supportive, or at least tolerant, of the movement but in fact is only such so long as vegans do not promote the interests of the victims or challenge the status quo. Backslash 9 https sydneyuniversitypress.com.au slash products slash 128398 so it seems that in many cases vegans are perceived as annoying because they can cause psychological stress through revealing cognitive dissonance and may be seen as a threat to the status quo and a certain way of life references if vegans and vegetarians are morally correct, that makes omnivores wrong. The possibility this could be true is an existential threat to the identity of any non-vegetarians. 
We're driven to hate existential threats. Twofold. One. People don't like being told what to do, that they need to change. Two. Most people like animals and don't want to be confronted with the realities of animal consumption. Because it makes them feel bad. If they acknowledge the realities they may need to change. C.1. In my experience. When you first become vegan you're very loud about it because you've just discovered this horrible truth and want, hope others will realize it too. But more often than not it has the opposite effect. I no longer promote my veganism unless asked. Generally I just lead by example. Eat tasty food. Live a healthy life. People see it's working for me and get curious. Most of the people around me don't want to cause animal suffering but it's tricky to change your lifestyle in such a big way. But when they see it can be easy, tasty and not limiting they want to try. I now have several friends who do meat-free Mondays or have started trying out plant-based recipes. And I hype them up. TL. DR. People like feeling good about their choices. Not guilted. Ignoring the self righteous ones that 99% of commenters say. To really answer OP's question there's a lot of people who yeah. Just randomly hate on even the most casual of vegetarians. The idea for some wear meat is almost part of their personality. You know the kind of dude bro. They see these people who just outright don't care and reject such a life. And yes. Hyper fixate on the few that are critical to them about it. To the extremes on both end the opposite of crazy is still crazy. But to get back to the core problem. They see this life choice they've ignored. Called a fad. Have always dismissed. But yet. Every year it's bigger and bigger. Even their favorite spot now has a vegetarian or even vegan option or two. And rather be happy at all that people have more choices at places. Or even if they want a break from the usual have other options. No no they see it as an erosion of who they are. Their life. They take it personally because someone else lives a life different. I don't. Unless they start imposing they view on me. That goes for other things too. Leave me alone and I have no issue with how you choose to live your life. Try to tell me what I can do. And we'll have issues. They don't, people hate being preached at. It's because most people don't like the idea of harming animals. But eat meat anyway. And so they see someone who thinks, I don't like animals getting hurt. I'm not going to eat meat, and it makes them wonder if they should also not eat meat. But then they remember how much they like to eat meat and they double down without really logically thinking it through, thus leading them to deflect. Because actually deeply considering your ethical decisions is complicated. But telling someone their decision is dumb, unrealistic is easy. People who have really thought through why they eat meat are not likely to have a negative opinion of vegetarians, vegans. It's people who don't want to think about it and don't want their fun spoiled by vegetarians who point out the possible moral implications of eating meat simply by choosing not to. Also there's the annoying ones. Like anyone who thinks PETA is a good organization for example. I think it runs both ways. Vegans can be very judgmental towards non-vegans. Which kinda makes sense from their perspective. And non-vegans probably feel threatened by vegans and their life choices. Because they know there is some truth to their belief system. I'm not vegan nor vegetarian. I personally don't care much. Especially as I'm trying to eat a little bit more vegetarian. But when they make everything about veganism. It's not exactly fun. If you are vegan because it makes you sad that an animal died. You are vegan for the wrong reasons. Pushing the meat is murder thing isn't how you convert others. I've had friends go vegan. One girl is a typical failed actress. She moved to LA and wanted to be famous. It didn't work so she ended up trying to get into politics and social influencing. That didn't work. 
She waitresses now. She switched to the whole vegan with the electric car thing. Super bad. She loves to protest anti-fur rallies are her thing. Climate change activist. Eco-terrorism. Working for tips. Pretty sad lifestyle if you ask me. Always pushing her agends on folks. She refuses to let people eat meat around her. Well she used to. Then she got super sick because of her vegan diet. It almost killed her. She would be so tired. Shed needs several naps throughout the day. So offset it with extreme amounts of coffee. Right? Her hormones were thrown off. Developed anemia. Massive stomach aches that would last days. Dangerous blood sugar drops. Vitamin deficiencies. Etc. She was in and out of the hospital toward the end stubborn as she was she refused to change her beliefs then she collapsed one day and spent a week in a hospital for some issue they put her on a feeding tube took tons of tests she ended up eating meat again lol and when her car started behaving problems with the batteries she decided on buying a gasoline car and moving back to her home state i don't hate them only some because they keep pushing us not to eat meat. If you don't like meat don't eat it and I don't give a f but don't push your agenda, opinion on us just. Because I don't eat what you eat. I love animals don't get me wrong but I also love to eat them. Yuck cow cut of meat glass of milk. Most get triggered by the vegan message because deep down inside they know that animal cruelty and exploitation is unnecessary. It disrupts a belief that most people grow up in. Which is God, made some animals for humans. Which is total BS. People don't like the accusatory ones who make it a personal goal to demonize anyone who eats meat. The only ones I hate are the insufferable ones that make it their whole personality. But I pretty much hate anyone insufferable that makes anything their whole personality. I don't have a problem with vegan or vegetarian diets. I just can't stand vegan, vegetarian moral superiority complex some vegans, vegetarians have. Because they're not wrong and that hurts. There are several reasons why this may be the case. One reason could be that people may feel threatened by the dietary choices of vegetarians and vegans. Some people may see these choices as a criticism of their own lifestyle and may feel defensive as a result. In addition, some people may simply not understand the reasons behind the vegetarian or vegan lifestyle. They may have misconceptions about the diet, or they may be uninformed about the benefits of such a diet. This lack of understanding can lead to judgment or hostility towards those who follow the diet. Another factor that may contribute to hostility towards vegetarians and vegans is the prevalence of stereotypes and misinformation in popular culture. These stereotypes portray vegetarians and vegans as self-righteous, judgmental, or even weak or sickly. Such stereotypes can be difficult to shake and can lead to negative attitudes towards those who follow the diet. It's important to Remember that everyone has the right to make their own dietary choices. And that it's important to respect these choices. By having open and respectful conversations about different lifestyles and beliefs. We can work to promote understanding and acceptance for all. The same reason sexist people hate feminists. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.